Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Molly. With Virtuoso Builders here in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to another edition of... Remodel Your Thinking. So what is our topic today, Molly? <laughs> today we're going to talk about dining rooms. Should you keep your dining room or should you not keep your dining room? And the reason we bring this one up today is because a lot of people ask us that question when they're getting ready to remodel. And to be honest, it's really a personal uh, preference. So it just depends on what your remodel is. What do you need out of that space? So reasons that we would probably keep a dining room. Why would you want to keep your dining room? If you're the house that hosts all of the major events, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the family gatherings and you need you a separate space, you really entertain, or you kind of want more of a formal space for the adults, and then the kids and me go to the other room where we get to have <laughs> our fun. Table. Yes. <laughs> That's typically what we find when people want to keep their dining room, or let's just say you have some wonderful heirlooms, hand-me-downs that were from when dining rooms were so popular, and you have the, the buffet table, the china display cabinet, the grandma's table and stuff. Some people still want to have a separate dining room to keep that in. So that, to keep it more formal. That might be another reason why to keep it, right. but a reason not to. A reason not to keep your dining room would be, it, usually if it's right next to your kitchen and you want to expand the kitchen, it's, a, it's really valuable square footage, so you could use that to open up your kitchen and borrow that space in the dining room to enlarge the entire space. So you could still get that overflow from entertaining, but you can get that space. Almost like a flex room that's right. that's connected to the dining or connected to the kitchen, breakfast room. So more of, and it falls in line with more of that open floor space plan. Really. Yeah, so there's a lot of ways that you can incorporate it. Um, some other reasons why people might want to keep it is it may not be actually the dining room become stays a dining room but the dining room turns into another sort of multi-purpose rooms we've had it where people want that dining room space and maybe they're not enlarging a kitchen that's right there but they want it to be an office so you can enclose it or do different things in that room to make it more of an office space so there's a lot of different things that you can do um, so it's really I think individual, if you want to keep it or not, um, if it comes to resale, we get that question sure. a lot as well. That's really something you need to ask your realtor if you're planning on doing the remodel to sell your house or if you just if you want to make it your own or you're buying a new house and you see this sort of space that you think you're probably not going to use as a formal dining room. So there's... A lot of reasons <laughs> but really, at the end <laughs> to of the, keep it or, or not keep it. Should it stay or should it go? Yeah, but either way, it is very valuable square footage. Um, and it's definitely something that you would have to determine based on whatever your remodeling uh, plan was going to be. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of information <laughs> yeah. and didn't confuse you too much. <laughs> yeah. But um, if you like what you see and what you hear, you yeah. can follow us on... Social media. Social media. Yeah. Yeah, so you might me. be seeing this one on uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, we've got on LinkedIn, Twitter, you name it. Um, and then the videos will also be on uh, our YouTube page later, so you can view those over and over and over again if but you want. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you next time.